Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to updated uh, tutorial to uh, YouTube Booster. In this episode, uh, I'm going to uh, show you how uh, YouTube Booster in version 0.4.5 uh, works. So let's get started. I have a few pages uh, opened to show you uh, all the features that we uh, have available. So this is the YouTube Booster section. You can see the starting point and the ending one. If you find any issues, you can contact uh, me on Twitter. Uh, so the first uh, feature is toggling. Sometimes you want to just uh, hide YouTube Booster without disabling it, so uh, that's the, the easiest way. If you click on the extension, you will see all available uh, features. So let's go with them one by one. Keywords. In this video, we don't have any uh, keywords, but let's go to some other videos like this one. And here you can see those keywords were added by creator and we can use them as a like, quick search. If I click uh, right and open in a new tab, I have this search result immediately uh, in my browser. So you can use it as a uh, quick search feature. The other option, the other uh, feature are chapters. Not all um, videos uh, have chapters. It's up to, uh, usually it's up to uh, creators. Uh, sometimes you to create them. Yeah, so you can see, we cannot see any uh, chapter section here, but we can see here. So we have side-by-side -side keywords and chapters. If there are no chapters, uh, to save some space, uh, YouTube Booster hides this section. And uh, in this chapters uh, part, there are actually those chapters that you can see on this timeline. So you can click to uh, jump to interesting part. Also, uh, there is a, um, an arrow that lets you add markers that we, are, we will talk uh, right now. Yeah, so this is the third section. Uh, let's say I want to add this uh, this chapter to my markers. If I click it, it is saved on my uh, markers list. Now I can also edit. I can add some uh, markers, I mean the tags that would work in, for example. Uh, ah, I added it the hash. It's not necessary. I can also add some more tags. Yeah, there's another video uh, with some, some chapters. Let's click this one. Yeah, so you can see I have two videos. If I have more uh, markers from uh, one video, yeah, I have, have fun already. But I can add, let's, let's get started. They will be listed like this. And now I can edit. Let's say with the tag English, yeah, so you can see it is immediately uh, added here. And English. We can see also attached uh, tags below the title of the, of the marker. And now we can use those uh, uh, markers. Yeah, there are two different uh, tags, so I can filter by English. I can display both one. Okay, so this is very handy uh, filtering feature. I can also add uh, markers by myself. So let's go to any place like this one. Let's add my marker and this is Woodworking, yeah, like this. So this is my marker that I created. It doesn't has to come from uh, from chapters. Now I can jump here. You can see on the timeline that video was uh, moved, and the same if I click here. Uh, there's also a uh, copy to clipboard. So if I would copy uh, this link, 
and I open a new tab, I can paste it and you see there's a minute, second title of this uh, of this marker and also direct link uh, to this very second so I can open. How much did yeah, it was opened on a 2.3 uh, second. Uh, next is uh, cards section. Uh, here you can see uh, cards and end screens. They are also uh, optional. For example, in this video, we have only cards but no end screens. So, what the cards are? Cards are those uh, those items. Here we have just one. Yeah, so we can see it here. In this chapter, in this video, we have three different cards and you can find them also here. So this is like a very handy uh, shortcut. Uh, end screens, um, there are um, those elements that are above the video at the end of the video. And here is uh, this uh, end screen. Yeah, so this is just a link. We can see the type is channel. So it is a link to, uh, to this channel. But here we have on the end screen and there's a website. So it will lead us uh, outside of, of YouTube to uh, their own uh, website. Disable auto pause. Uh, this is something you cannot uh, see because uh, this feature allows you to play uh, videos, usually music, uh, without interruption from YouTube. Because YouTube has uh, this feature to uh, pause after a while without interaction from the user uh, side. But if you have a long playlist and you would like to uh, listen music from YouTube, for example, from uh, during some, some party, uh, you can enable this feature and uh, this way YouTube will not uh, auto pause uh, anymore. So the next uh, feature is YouTube Orchestra. That's something you can see. And you can see here. It is uh, pretty messy right now and I will uh, talk about this in, in a second. Uh, but in general, you can see we have uh, three different videos, like those, actually even four. Uh, you can see the uh, statuses and you can uh, also uh, click here to uh, jump to uh, these very tabs. Uh, why they are messy like this? The thing is that uh, when the uh, Chromium-based uh, browser starts, they do not um, initiate uh, all the tabs immediately. What makes sense from the performance point of view, if browser doesn't uh, initialize the tab, uh, YouTube Booster also holds wrong data. So that's why we have here this reload button. If you click it, yeah, so now we have correct statuses. We have only four uh, tabs. You can see them here. If I click here, I jump to this video. Uh, I can play video you cannot hear because it's uh, disabled uh, <clears throat> but i can also um, play and pause uh, from uh, from this section uh, also there is a uh, checkbox and if, if you mark it uh, let's uncheck it first music yeah but you can see it's it's playing and we can make this the second video uh, also playing. It's almost at the end. Let's go here. You can see uh, it's playing. So uh, sometimes it can be annoying, especially uh, when the browser starts and you have multiple uh, tabs open and uh, suddenly all the tabs starts playing. So this feature, now I mark it. I can play it, this video again. And when I, when the other video starts playing, the previous one uh, immediately uh, stops. So this is pretty uh, helpful feature. Actually, I personally have this always uh, checked. The next on our list is a video uh, speed feature. It is, it is here. So let's start playing. Uh, sometimes you may see uh, zeros. So uh, reloading a page usually solve this issue. Uh, so here you can uh, grab on this line and uh, slow down or speed up uh, the video. You can also use a plus minus 
uh, on your keyboard, then you can see at the what speed you are watching the, uh, the video. Uh, you can also press uh, equals sign to set to the value number uh, one, the default one. The next one is end screens. We already talked about it. Uh, import and export. Uh, this is the section if you would like to export your markers. Yeah, I have a few, so I can export them. Let's pause this video. I can export my markers. Okay, I have them uh, exported. So you can see this is the uh, title of the video, length of the video, who was created in the video, and uh, there are timestamps, names, URLs to uh, to these markers, and tags that I added to uh, to this video. The other option is uh, export button. An export button exports all your settings to the file that you can uh, later import. The thing is that YouTube Booster is anonymous, so uh, as you notice, uh, there is no uh, registration. Uh, so managing uh, your settings uh, and do not, do not lose them is only on your side. So that's why uh, those uh, buttons are important. So let's do an export. Uh, usually you don't have to uh, read this, yeah, but uh, you can see there's a JSON file. Uh, so there's a list of markers, uh, UI settings, uh, features like this uh, one play video, and some checksum to check if this file is correct. Uh, thumbnail, yeah, this is something you can see on the main list on YouTube. Uh, ads, uh, that feature seems to be broken and probably I will uh, remove it in the next versions. So let's hide it. Uh, it's supposed to display number of ads added by creator uh, to the video. And the last uh, big section is uh, AllSynth. So here we have a video with uh, four default thumbnails. Uh, we, we may want to use this um, to search if there's uh, some kind of fake or for other uh, OSIN purposes. And for those default uh, images, we have uh, default uh, links. We can use uh, Tiny Eye. If I click it, then I will try to find this um, this image in their own database. Yeah, but if you would like to add some uh, own uh, images, uh, let's say, yeah, we don't have this one, so like this. I can click, and YouTube Booster will cut this uh, frame for you. So now you can use any, I don't have any right now, uh, but uh, if you have any uh, plugins installed, uh, you can use them uh, to search for those images. And you can take as many uh, images as you want. If you want to remove, just double click and it removes from, uh, from this list. Uh, here we had uh, some live chat, uh, a live video with, uh, with a chat. So we can also download this chat. So just click it here. And uh, sometimes it takes a few seconds. Uh, here we have uh, this chat downloaded. And as you can see, audience uh, start talking on the uh, chat over 10 minutes before the uh, live video uh, was launched. Uh, here you can see a person talking. And if it's the first comment in this uh, chat of this person, uh, you can see also a link uh, to this uh, person's uh, um, channel. And you can go through all the comments, read them, analyze them, and see uh, what was uh, going on there. And actually, uh, and that's it uh, for this uh, video. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, some issues or ideas, uh, just contact me. Here you have a link uh, to me on, on Twitter. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, extension. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.